Hello again and welcome creators as we jump right into episode 9.5 of Create with Cubelets. In this episode, we are looking at creating programs using the code blocks found in the acting submenu. For that, we'll be using the Rotate Cubelet. This program will solve a question a lot of users have, which is how can I make the Rotate Cubelet spin the other way? When we view a default Rotate Cubelet from above, it will spin clockwise. We want to make a cubelet that can spin counterclockwise. For that, we need to use a specialized function to set the motor direction. So on the main screen of Cubelet's Blockly, you can see that I've built my uh, basic robot construction with a battery, a Bluetooth hat, and a Rotate Cubelet. I'm going to uh, select the Rotate Cubelet to help filter the compatible blocks. And before we start building our code, let's use plain English or pseudocode to describe the behavior our rotate cubelet should have. In this case, we want to have a rotate cubelet that spins backwards. So we know from working with other act cubelets that they set their actuator value to the block value. We also know that the block value is determined by the weighted average. And finally, we know that we want to spin the rotate cubelet in the opposite direction. So let's start from the top and build a statement for the actuator and block value. First, grab the set actuator value to block. Then go into the variable submenu and grab the item block. Use the dropdown to specify uh, that we want the block value variable. Now, we have a bit of code that says set the actuator value to the block value. But just like the previous episode, we need to define what the block value is. For that, we'll use the set item to block uh, found in the variable submenu. In the item dropdown, we will again specify block value. In the thinking submenu, we want to grab the weighted average block and connect it to our statement. I'm going to place this code statement above our previous one. So now we have a code block that defines a variable called block value and determines what that variable should be using the weighted average. We then use that variable to control the actuator value. But we still need to tell our rotate cubelet to spin in the opposite direction. For that, we need to grab a block from the acting submenu. If you look closely, there are a couple of blocks that seem like they could work. We've already used the toggle motor direction to switch a drive cubelet's direction. But the problem with that is that we continue to switch motor direction every time it is activated. So what else could we use? How about the set motor direction forward and set motor direction reverse blocks? They seem like the right kind of command. So which one is it? Forward or reverse? Well, there's no clear indication for that, but you should know that by default, most cubelets use forward as their default direction. So reverse is the block we are looking for. Drag the set motor direction reverse block into the canvas. But now where should we put it? In this case, we want to put it in the setup do loop. But why? Because it runs only once when the cubelet is powered on. If I were to put it in the forever do loop, then the cubelet would constantly be setting the direction in reverse. This is an unnecessary step since it only needs to be run once and I don't need to have it run every single time the program cycles through. So let's program our selected rotate cubelet and when Blockly has finished programming the cubelet, I'm going to attach it to a different robot construction with another rotate cubelet. Now you can see we have a rotate cubelet that spins in the opposite direction. Rearrange it and add a few more elements and you've got yourself a fancy, bouncy, clunk driver of a robot. And on that note, we've reached the end of this five part episode. We didn't cover every single block in Cubelet's Blockly, but hopefully you're comfortable enough to experiment with Blockly on your own. So with that, I thank you for joining me on this long journey through Cubelet's Blockly. I hope you had fun and continue to experiment and create with Cubelet's robot blocks.